So my name is uh, Nicolas Debayet. Um, I'm in the EDMS doctoral program, which is actually the doctoral program in molecular life sciences. I'm one of the rare local guys here in EPFL, um, at least in life sciences. Uh, I'm born in Lausanne. I grew up in the vineyards of Lavo and uh, did all my undergraduate studies here in EPFL in the life science faculty uh, and then oriented the masters towards cancer research already. So willing to do a project in uh, that was combining cancer immunotherapy and regular uh, cancer research, um, possibilities narrowed down very rapidly. And uh, Lausanne is a very fast growing center for cancer research in Switzerland. We're now building the Swiss Cancer uh, Research Institute here in, in Lausanne. Um, and alongside with that, we're building facilities for to produce cell therapies that we need for immunotherapy becoming a clinical trial center. And um, I must say that with the SHUV, the University Hospital, uh, the University of Lausanne, the Ludwig Institute here, uh, ISREC at EPFL, uh, we have in Lausanne a cancer community that is unique and that decided me to stay here. So there is a very small uh, subpopulation of tumor cells called cancer stem cells or cancer initiating cells which are cells that can disseminate throughout the body and form metastases. And actually the whole focus of the lab is on these peculiar cells. Uh, personally, my project uh, aims at understanding uh, what these cells do in terms of immune regulation in the tumor microenvironment, how they, they regulate the immune system uh, at the tumor site. And then in a second way, try to educate the immune system to engineer it in order to specifically kill the cells. The first thing we showed was that what happens that when you kill the cancer stem cells, you suddenly see the, the mouse immune system uh, developing an immune response and killing the tumor. So if you want, if you, you just kill the cancer stem cells and then you have the immune system that fights the tumor for you. We see an immune response firing up. Uh, we don't know why. We have no clue of what is happening and what do the cancer stem cells normally produce to prevent an immune response from, from happening. I try really to now spend some time uh, on a comparison, if you want, on cancer stem cells and tumor cells to identify uh, what they produce. I also try to investigate what changes immunologically in the tumor when I, deplete, when I deplete the cancer stem cells. Uh, what changes do I see in the microenvironment? Uh, that's, that's a main challenge I would have now for the moment. I'm really not sure I want to do an academic type of career. Um, maybe because also I'm a bit far from, from applications. Uh, and so there are two possibilities. Either I would stay close to the patients, which would mean working in hospitals. Otherwise, well, going to industry. I mean, the industry is now investing massively in immunotherapies. Uh, big pharmas are also doing this. So there might be, especially in a, in a few years now, some great opportunities uh, in pharmaceutical industry.